Uh, hello guys, it's Flux for Energize again. Um, today I have a rather spectacular uh, circuit for you. Uh, I call it the VEC, uh, Vacuum Energy Converter. It's based on a couple of circuits. Uh, in the first place a dual teeth circuit and a Bedini circuit. I just modified them uh, to my needs. Uh, I have no circuit diagram uh, for you at this time but I will show you the three basic uh, uh, diagrams I used and this is the basic dual teeth uh, circuit I use and I will explain later but uh, the LED in my circuit you see uh, burning is uh, the LED over here but in, the <coughs> in a little bit of a different way uh, uh, I arranged the LED so like a Bedini style uh, circuit like this where the charge that's this one here charge battery normally is replaced by an LED feeding back uh, to the source uh, batteries the source better uh, run batteries <coughs> so and also I used the more advanced dual teeth circuit with a secondary so it's tri file and this is double uh, bifilar coil tri file coil and there I where the LEDs normally are I'm now feeding to uh, additional rechargeable batteries <coughs> so uh, back to the circuit here are my run batteries and uh, these run batteries uh, are feeding the circuit and uh, like I said this LED is burning and that means it's feeding back energy uh, to the source so it's uh, well <laughs> it's a bit uh, hard to explain but the LED is burning from the positive side of the battery to yes the the positive side of the battery <laughs> so yes you hear correct it's from plus to plus not plus minus but plus plus and yes it's burning <coughs> okay I will explain later and I will show you the draw and feedback uh, uh, what's phenomenal about this uh, circuit is uh, the efficiency efficiency of the circuit uh, is over 150 percent and it's not theoretical uh, I can show you uh, by uh, in two ways by measurements and by a list uh, I've been keeping for the past two days I have to say the circuit is running for two or three weeks now uh, I don't remember I have a lot of data as you can see and also here and the list continues and continues but I for this video I'm starting to far I've started uh, two days ago <coughs> and these are the voltage checks I did uh, along the past two or three days and the run batteries as you can see is starting at uh, 1286 uh, sorry 1268 and 1301 millivolts and the charge batteries well you can see for yourself but interesting is to see uh, run battery one and two decline in voltage but much much uh, slower than charge battery one is gaining and two and three I well they're in the equation but for this one I will let it out well <coughs> so you see the run batteries decline uh, slower than the charge battery is gaining so well, uh, now to let you show that it is really, uh, that this is real what's going on and show you e efficiency. I already made this one up, so let's put on the DMM. So it's on the milliamp scale, as you can see, 20 milliamp scale. So. I have one hand free so it's a bit tricky but uh, there are a lot of crocodile clips I'm sorry for the mess once again but I, I keep working this way uh, <coughs> well let's get the feet feet to source feet 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 this is this one that 
should kill the LED. Yes, I have the correct one. Let's clip it out. Yes, so. Okay. This is the run lead. LED is gone on again. Okay. Circuit is taking about 1.26 milliamps. Okay, 126 milliamps to run the circuit. Okay, click this back on. Let's write it down. Draw. 1.26 milliamps. Okay, like I said, I have a feedback to source. And the LED is feeding back to source. Uh, what's happening here? It's like a duty circuit. I have the LED uh, over over here in the CE junction. Only it's running from the C to the positive. So, in fact, it's running positive to positive. And yes, it's turning, and that's because of this toroid over here. Well, <coughs> let's see how much it's giving back to the run batteries or source batteries. Whatever you like, let's click this one out. Yeah, sorry, clip it on. Uh, okay. Here, LED goes on again. Uh, let me hold it steady. Yes, and it's reading one zero point. Sorry. It's not steady, I'm sorry for that, so... Yes, here we go. 0 0.595856, let's say 0 0.55. To be on the safe side, 0 0.55. Let's write it down, 0 0.55. Feedback to source from the LED is 0 0.55 milliamps. <laughs> then, <coughs> I have another feedback to source, and that's this one. So let's clip this one on. This one. Let me hold this one here. Yes. And it's reading 0 0.17 milliamps. So 0 0.17. So let's write it down. Just go to the safe side 0 0.15 milliamps feedback. Okay. And we have an additional charge battery which is being fed. So let's. Connect up that one. Disconnect here. Uh, connect up the positive lead, negative lead. Okay, let's, okay. As you can see here, disconnect, connect. Okay. And it's uh, sorry, sorry for that. That's not going well. Sorry. Going back again. Short it out. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, and it's feeding back 1.12, or it's charging, I mean, the charge battery with 1.12, 1.13, say 1.1 milliamps. Let's connect the circuit again. So, connect it, running, yes. Safe side 1.1 milliamps. Okay, so we have a total draw 1.26 milliamps, and we have a total gain 0 0.55, 0 0.7, 1.8 milliamps, giving a efficiency which is greater as 100%. In fact, it's approx 150% here. Uh, I also told you I have two additional batteries charging here. I will show you one uh, charge battery, uh, but I let it out of the equation, so we have over 150% efficiency. I will show you. So it's gaining, as you can see. 0 0.12 milliamps, so 0 0.1. So in fact, we have uh, 
uh, instead of, and we have this two times, so instead the 1.8 milliamps charge, total charge from the circuit, we have uh, more than 2 milliamps, so uh, in that case we go well above the efficiency of 150%. So, uh, still I have some additional ideas to further increase the circuit. My goal of course is uh, because I now have to uh, run or swap the run and charge battery around uh, to keep the circuit alive. So I want to upgrade the circuit where the run batteries are or the circuit is providing enough energy uh, to the run batteries so it will stay charged. So I want to give a feedback of 100% uh, or more to the run batteries, 101 plus percent and at the same time charge one or more batteries but as you can see I'm still working uh, on uh, a lot of circuits, new circuits, new ideas, new things and I will keep you posted but for now uh, this will uh, we'll have to do uh, I won't be posting uh, any videos uh, anytime soon because I'm going on holiday. So after the holiday, uh, I hope uh, I have uh, some upgrades uh, considering the feedback to source, and I hope I can get it uh, up to uh, the hundred and one hundred percent. So uh, stay tuned, and I'll uh, speak to you later. Okay, bye bye.